All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick Mega Square One thing here while I got it going. This is my buddy's 88 notch with a 5.3 and a Master Power 70 turbo tucked in there. as has LS1 intake, 80 pound injectors, and a Corvette alternator bracket that's nice, fits under the stock hood. The only thing is it has a truck return rail on it for now. It fits under the hood, you just spaced it up a tiny bit. But anyway, I'll go in here and I'll show you what the MS1 looks like quick. We just put valve springs in, so it changed the tune a tiny bit. Uh, once you're connected and you have like my bass tune under crank and warm up here in cranking settings, this is basically the pulse width so you'll adjust if it starts funny. Just when it's cranking, once it goes to the base table, you gotta adjust the base table, but it seemed to crank fine, it just was running a little lean after the valve springs, so what we're gonna do here is he's gonna fire it and I'm gonna go into the fuel table. Good. Yep. Now this car is nice and quiet so we can actually tell you what's going on, but as you can see here, that's where the motor is sitting in vacuum at about 800 or so RPM. And uh, it's actually a 1320 air fuel here and it's, it's maybe wandering a little bit lean when it comes up. So when you look here, usually with a batch fire car like this, you're gonna wanna sit at like a 1330 at idle. At cruise, you're gonna want like a 150. And it kinda, it's smoothing out, but it's actually a little, a little bit on the fat side, I think. It's hard to tell until we drive it around and get a little bit more done. But basically here, these are the fuel cells you can change. You can manually type in a number here, like it's 1260. So if I hit uh, 26 and I hit enter, it's gonna lean it out slightly globally or you can select this whole area and you can hit scale, which is a percentage based. If you hit scale and you type in like 0.95, it takes out 5% of fuel. So you can see there how it went into the 13s. And now it actually has a little bit of an idle hunt. So this number, we maybe wanna add a little bit in the center here. We'll go back to like a 27 and see what happens. See how it smooths out, but it's a little rich. That's a little game you're gonna have to play chasing your tail basically to uh, get the car to do what you want to do so now that it's happy with a little bit larger number in the center I'll take out like 2% I'll go 0 0.98 and I'll see if I can get it to do like a 13 which it's, it's kind of there it's getting there and you slowly fuck with it basically what you want is the idle speed you want and you want the most amount of vacuum you can get out of it the other thing I would do usually is look at the ignition thing, but it's not that easy to get to a 6010 box, so we're gonna leave it go for now. And then also you can see sometimes in the fuel table, you'll see, uh, where's my mouse at? I lost it. You'll see a high number here in the middle of some lower numbers. You're gonna wanna drive around and play with those usually. You can also, uh, if you highlight three, like uh, 83 and 79 here, and you hit uh, right click and hit interpolate, it's going to uh, magically pick the average number in between the two and you can do that for huge segments or the whole board basically but uh we'll do whatever we can do with this thing to get it to idle happy and then uh we'll take it for a drive and i will uh fire the camera back up i'll put uh four percent in it quick see if it's happier with that but as we drive around to add four you go 1.04 it's all a multiplication See how it smooths out when it's at like a 13.0? It's just something you gotta play with your car, cam, and timing combination. All right guys, as you can see, when we drive around, we're in cells like here, air fuel, and uh, as you drive, sorry, there's a lot of glare, but, there we go, maybe I can get it. Uh, 100 kPa is basically getting into boost. So I usually like to set up about 60 to 80. I want to see it hit like 13.0 air fuel. And then by 80, I want to see about a 12.5. And then you can carry a 12.5 to wide open, like uh, just getting into boost. 
And then I usually like to go 12.0 here, and then 11.50 by 160, 150 kPa, 11.5. And then everything above that, I like to do 11.0. It keeps the street cars uh, pretty healthy. And then uh, in cruise here, you can shoot for like 15.0 when you're cruising around at low, and then around idle, you're gonna want that 13.30. But that's basically how you do it. Like as he's cruising here, and it's 15-0, uh, you can just change these cells the same way I showed you, either by uh, changing the number directly by double-clicking and typing it in, like 31 or whatever, lean it out. Or you can do the uh, highlight a block and do uh, right-click and you can scale and interpolate and everything else. That's, uh, that's how it's done. I actually, watch this if he uh, rolls into a little bit of boost. See that? How the air fuel comes down real nice. But uh, that's basically it. Super easy, actually.